What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am uh, reassembling this D15 B7 engine. See if you can get a picture of it right there. All taken apart. Uh, I picked it up on Craigslist as told it had a, a blown head gasket. So, you know, it's Craigslist. Uh, I gotta check out your engine. So I took it apart just to check the rod bearings and mains and uh, they seem okay. And uh, I figured, you know, since we're this far in, may as well throw some new rings in there. So that's where we're at, and uh, I will keep you updated as I go along. So the way I do rings is um, I just kind of alternate them, I'll alternate the gaps, one side, one side, one side, one side. Uh, so first off, put on the oil con oil spacer ring, I think, oil spacer ring. that on there I put the gap you know a little bit a little bit off uh, of the wrist pin just like that and at this point lower oil control ring easy peasy right on the uh, on the wrist pin Second oil control ring. So the first gap is here, so second gap will be right here. Just like that, fully seated all the way. Got one gap, other gap. And then the lower compression ring. has some uh, writing on it. I don't know if you can see that. It has some writing there and there and no writing on the other side. So writing side goes up um, as far as I know. And then I'll alternate, for, alternate it from the top oil control ring gap. So I'm going to put the gap on this side. Easy. Compression ring, same deal. Lettering on one side, but not the other. So lettering goes up, alternated gap from the uh, second compression ring. And just like that, we have a piston ready to drop in. I just alternate the compression and oil rings back and forth. I figure that'll provide the uh, longest path for the uh, one, the compression gases from the combustion chamber and two, the longest path um, for the oil to get scraped off the, uh, the piston wall. I've done it on a couple cars like this and uh, it seems to work out pretty well. I know probably everyone else has their own style. I know OEM spec is like kind of some weird clock pattern, but uh, like I said, I've done this several times, it worked out great, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this one in. So this compression tool is awesome. It's from Wiseco, 75mm for D-Series engines, uh, stock bore. I used to struggle with that, um, it was almost like a spring coil thing that could change to different piston sizes. Uh, pretty versatile, but it's a real pain to get to work. You know, I'd, I'd be spending like an hour trying to get these piston rings in without damaging the lower oil control ring. I've busted up quite a few lower oil control rings with that setup. But with this, it's super, super easy. It's just tapered down to 75 mil. Pop that in intake side. On the intake side, of course. Just drop it in. So try and get it lined up as best you can. It doesn't really matter because it'll um, you'll do the final adjustment when you're bolting it on the crank. But just tap like one-handed. Super super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the last. 
two, number three, and number four, and uh, we'll move on to the next step. So I got all four pistons and rods in. I know at this point some people like to bolt the girdle on, but uh, I bolt the rod bearings and caps um, all together first, personal preference I guess. And what you're looking out for here is you see that that tang right like right where my finger shadow is going over that tang. You line that up with the tang on the rod cap. So in this case, it'll go like, like that. So you pop them on, I already did two. Pop them on, torque them down to 23 foot pounds. Good to go. The girdle is back on. Um, you know, there's really only, only one way to put it on. There's really no risk of running it backwards. But uh, this big piece, is on the intake manifold side, oil oil filter side. 10 of these bolts, 14 mil, torque them to 18 foot-pounds and then 33 foot-pounds. And I kind of do it in a head gasket sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's all torqued down. Uh, I think this is uh, the hardest part's over. And then it's basically just um, assembling the stuff on the outside. Rear main, oil pump, front main, oil pan with the, the pickup. And then it's pretty much all good. Uh, oh, and I did remember to put the thrust washers in. They go in these two gaps. So this thingy, thrust washer, thrust washer, uh, between the crank and the block uh, with the, the notches or the grooves um, facing the crank. So we're all set. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do remain oil pump front, pick up oil pan, and I will check back with you. It's been about, uh, I'd say, 30, 45 minutes or so. Got the uh, oil pump on. Got a good layer of RTV in there. Pickups on. Bolted to the uh, girdle. Rear. Rear main is on. Got a nice, fresh oil pan gasket. I'm gonna put a little bit of RTV between this and, uh, or, you know, in there and a little bit on there, in there and a little bit on there. Slap the oil pan on, flip it over, and uh, be ready to put on the head. Bottom end is all back together. It's ready for the head to go on. Dirty on the outside, but pretty clean and fresh on the inside. Got the dowel pins in. Head gasket on. Um, it doesn't quite line up the greatest. That's with it pressed all the way down. There's kind of a lip here. I don't know if I'll take the dowels out and uh, kind of center it where I want to and put it, put the the head on, or if I'll, you know, trim a little bit or something so it sits kind of more where it should. I don't know. I'll think on it and uh, I'll go ahead and do it. I got to get this thing back back together tonight. The timing belt is coming in tomorrow, I believe, in the mail. So that's all good. And then I will be dropping it into the car that it's going into, hopefully within the next couple days. The head is on. Uh, I elected to keep the dowels in and leave the head gasket untouched. I don't know. I think it'll be okay. And I've got the head bolts all torqued. 22 for the first step, 49 foot-pounds for the second step, and I think that's probably about where I'm going to call it for tonight. Like I said, I'm waiting on that uh, timing belt, uh, timing belt water pump kit tomorrow, but uh, I think uh, I think that'll do it for tonight. I'll make it a two-parter. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, as always, and uh, I don't know, maybe you learned something from it. Uh, hopefully by kind of doing a step-by-step -step in a way with torque specs. I don't know, maybe you'll, you'll feel more confident in perhaps doing a head gasket or a bottom end rebuild on your Civic.